Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting a limited network connectivity issue with your DHCP and DNS servers. So if you're getting some errors, let's say the servers might not be installed, or that it depends on the following service, and again, maybe it's been marked for deletion or something along those lines. So there are several different issues that could be resulting in this problem and we're going to go about hopefully resolving it without too much of a hassle here. And we're going to go ahead and jump into it by opening up the start menu. So go ahead and left click on the start button one time. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back a registry editor. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go ahead and left click on yes. Now, before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you make a backup of it. So if you ever needed to go back, if you made a mistake and you have to go restore your registry, it's always good to have a backup. So in order to make one, just would left click on the file tab, left click on export. I think saving the file name as the date in which you're making the backup is generally a pretty smart idea. Set export range to all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer and then just left click on save. And then if you ever needed to restore back, you just do file, import, and then just navigate over to that registry file. And that should hopefully be about it. So once you made your backup, you want to go ahead and expand the HK local machine folder. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Now you want to do the same thing for the system folder. Same thing now for the current control set, services. And now you want to go down to DHCP right here. Now that you're over here, there should be something on the right side that says depend on service right here. Should be near the top, should say underneath type reg multi service. You want to go right click on this and then left click on delete. You will have to confirm the deletion here, left click on yes, close out of here restart your computer and hopefully that should be about it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.